Good day, everyone. Welcome to our sixth week for the second quarter. Okay, so we have learned in the past few weeks about finance or about uh, uh, money. Okay, so we have tackled about interest, simple and compound. Okay, and also we have tackled about annuity and also business and consumer loans. Okay and might as well the stocks and bonds okay so for for the following weeks we will be tackling about the propositions okay so first for our content standards the learner demonstrates understanding of key concepts of propositional logic syllogisms and fallacies okay for the performance standards the learner is able to judi judiciously apply logic in real life arguments. Okay? So, san kaya natin pwedeng i-apply yung ating mga propositions. For our most essential learning competencies or MELCs, we have first the learner illustrates and com and symbolizes propositions, distinguishes between simple and compound com propositions. And also, the learner performs the different types of operations on propositions. Okay, so, ano kaya tong um, tinatawag nating propositions? Okay, so first, let, let's have an activity. Okay, so we will be determining what type of sentence is um, yung mga ipapakita natin. Okay, so we will write D if it is a declarative sentence. Okay. Declarative sentence means um, a sentence that give us information or uh, nagsasalaysay in Tagalog. Or E naman if exclamatory sentence. Okay, so itong mga sentence na to ay madali natin malalaman dahil uh, nagtatapos sa exclamatory point. Okay, so next imperative I am naman if imperative. Okay, so... Na uh, ito yung sentence na uh, naguutos. Okay, so and lastly, I N if it is interrogative. So these uh, sentences are um, are sentences that is in the form of a question. Okay, or yung nagtatanong. Okay, so for our first example, your eye is the lamp of your body. Okay, so this is D, declarative sentence. Okay? So, nagsasalaysay siya. Karaniway, nagtatapos rin ang mga sentences na to sa dot. So, second example, when did you last hug your parents? Okay? So, mapapansin natin, this is a sentence that is in the form of a question. So, this is an interrogative sentence. So, I am. Next, admit your fault. Okay, so mapapansin natin, uh, this is a type of a sentence that is okay, an imperative sentence. So, since siya ay uh, naguutos, no? that's why siya ay imperative sentence. Okay, so for number four, since you are what you eat, then your food can describe your health. Okay, so as we understand the sentence, it gives us uh, some information. Okay, so since you are what you eat, then your food can describe your health. So we can say that this is a declarative sentence. Number five, life is more than food. And the body is more than clothing. This is also a declarative sentence. Since siya ay nagsasalaysay or um, somehow it gives us information okay, about our life and body. Okay, so now... 
math involves logic. So there is logic in performing mathematical operations, in playing chess, in making decisions, in communicating with peers, and in many other activities that we do. So actually, we may be using the principles and concepts of logic in our daily tasks, which may be unknowing to us sometimes. That is how the study of logic may be significant to everybody. So uh, when we say logic, no? so uh, gagamitin natin ang uh, medyo ang ating mga brains. Okay, so to commence our discussion on logic, this lesson will introduce the key concepts of propositions. In the, in the end, learners are expected to demonstrate understanding of these concepts. So these are our objectives. Okay. So kung mapapansin natin, puro siya proposition. Okay. Now, let us dive and start for our lesson proper about propositions. Okay. So ano nga ba yung proposition? So proposition is a declarative sentence. Okay. So, declarative sentence is a type of a sentence that gives us information or in Tagalog nga ay nagsasalaysay. So, proposition is a declarative sentence that is either true or false. So, take note of the de declarative sentence and also it must be true or false, but not both. Okay, so... Pwede pala nating masabi na siya ay um, fact okay? or opinion lang or true or false. Pero hindi pwedeng parehas. So if a proposition is true, then its truth value is true which is denoted by T. Okay? So parang nag answer lang tayo ng true or false. Otherwise, its truth value is false which is denoted by F. Okay? So, ang proposition, pwede siyang maging T or F. Okay? So, depende if true or false. Now, usual, usually denoted by small letters. For example, the proposition P. Okay? So, proposition P, this is how we write a proposition P and then colon. So everyone should study logic. Okay? So this is a proposition. Okay? So which has a truth value of either true or false. Okay? So depende, di ba? Pwede nating masabi na um, true siya since everyone should study logic. And since uh, logic is uh, useful in our everyday life. Okay? So pwede rin namang false or um, some, uh, some people. Okay? So maybe read as P is the proposition, everyone should study logic. Okay? So now, now if a sequence of propositions is considered, we denote the propositions by P sub 1, P sub 2, P sub 3, and so on and so forth. For example, okay, so let us have another activity. Determine whether each of the following statements is a proposition or not. If it is a proposition, give its truth value. So, i-identify natin if uh, the given is a proposition or not, and then we will answer if that is T or F, or true or false. Okay, again, Recall, proposition, masasabi natin na siya ay isang proposition if um, it is a declarative sentence and we can say that it is either true or false. So let us have a hint. So recall that for a statement to be a proposition, it must be, ayan, sabi ko lang, declarative sentence and it should have a truth value of either true or false, but not both true or false, and at the same time. 
Okay, so Proposition P again, Mindanao is an island in the Philippines. Okay, so we can say that this is a declarative sentence and it has a truth value of um, either true or false. So we can say that this is a proposition. Okay. And it has a truth value of, okay. So this is true, no? So see, proposition P is uh, true since Mindanao is an island in the Philippines. So that's true. That's a fact. Okay, so for our next example, we have Q, find the number which divides your age. So kung mapapansin natin, siya ay nag instruct Okay, so giving us instruction okay, or nag -uutos. So siya ay isang imperative sentence. So this is not a proposition. For our next example, proposition R naman, my seatmate will get a perfect score in the logic exam. So my seatmate will get a perfect score in the logic exam. So nagsasalaysay siya, that is a declarative sentence. Okay. So pwede man nating masagot if that is true or false. So pwedeng true, di ba? So my seat, if your seatmate will get a perfect score in the logic exam, okay, pag tapos na ang exam, pwedeng siya ay tama or true. So pwede namang hindi perfect yung uh, seatmate mo. So pwede siyang maging false. So either true or false yan. And, the, and also at the same time, that is a declarative sentence. So we can say that that is a proposition. Okay, so this statement is a decla declarative sentence, but its truth value will only be known after the logic exam. Okay, so nonetheless, it can either be true or false, but not both. So hindi pwedeng parehas, no? Na true or false yan. Kasi either perfect lang yung score na seatmate mo or hindi. Okay, for our next example, Proposition S or statement S. Welcome to the Philippines. So is it a declarative sentence? So this is already not a declarative sentence. So we can already say that this is not an example of a proposition. So this is a, an exclamatory sentence. Okay, so proposition T, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Okay, so pwede pala na hindi sentence. Okay, so I'm sorry, but um, we can say that this is a, an, a type of a sentence, but in mathematical form. No? So mathematical sentence siya. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So that is correct. That is true. Okay, and also that is a declarative sentence. Somehow we can say that. Okay, so that is an example of a proposition. So this, it has a truth value, diba? So true. And also that is a mathematical sentence. So translated into English, pwede natin na translate siya. Okay, so the equation reads as... The sum of 3 and 2 is 5, which is a declarative sentence. So that's why that is an example of a proposition. So it is also a true statement. Okay, so another uh, mathematical equation, or this is a, is this a um, type of a proposition? So Proposition u, f of x is equal to square root of x over x plus 1 is a rational function. Okay, so we can say that this is a declarative sentence if um, we convert it or we translate it into a 
into um, the English language. Okay, so hindi mathematical sentence. Okay, so actually this is also a proposition. So why this is a declarative sentence and also it has a truth value. So since the numerator of the function is not a polynomial function, the function f is not rational. So the statement is false. So okay, malilito, no? So ang proposition pwede siyang maging true, pwede maging false. So hindi pero kit, um, false na siya, hindi na siya proposition. So pag proposition nga po, ulitin ko, so pwede siyang true, pwede siyang false. Basta declarative sentence. Okay, so another example. So what is the domain of the function? So we can already tell that this is not a proposition. Why? Because this is an example of a in, an interrogative sentence. So for our next example, proposition W, I am lying. Okay, so is this a proposition? This is not a proposition. Since um, we can say that this is a declarative sentence, okay? so, but we cannot say that this is true or this is false. So why? This is the explanation. Although W is a declarative sentence, it is not a proposition because it can neither be true nor false. Suppose W is true, okay? So suppose that is true, okay? That is, it is the case that I am lying. Okay, so in Tagalog, translate natin, nagsisinungaling ako. Pag yun ay true, okay? So pag true yun, ibig sabihin nagsisinungaling ka, kabaligtaran ng sinasabi mo yung totoo, okay? So since I am lying, my statement is not true. Okay, kabaligtaran. And so W must be false. So the same conclusion can be drawn if W is assumed to be false. Okay. So kapag naman false yan, we sabihin ay kabaligtaran din. So you, I am not lying pala. Okay. So we cannot say that this is a uh, this is not a proposition. Okay, so for our next example, it is not the case that square root of two is a rational number. Okay, so this is a proposition because it is a declarative sentence and it has a truth value of false. Okay, so bakit false yan? Okay, it can be shown that square root of 2 cannot be expressed as a quotient of 2 integers. So pag may square root na tayong nakita, okay, na symbol, so this um, cannot be um, a rational number. Okay. So for our next example, P sub 2, proposition P sub 2, either logic is fun and interesting or it is boring. This is a proposition. Why? Because again, this is a declarative sentence, which is true since students may find logic either fun or boring. Okay, So hence, it is a true proposition. So P sub 3, if you are a grade 11 student, then you are a Filipino. Okay, also this is a proposition. Why? Because it is again a declarative sentence and it has a truth value which is false or not true. So false siya. Bakit? So hindi naman lahat ng grade 11 student ay um, Filipino. So, pwedeng ibang um, lahe or iba ang kanilang nationality.
Okay? So, piece of four, if you are more than 60 years old, then you are entitled to a senior citizen's card. And if you are entitled to a senior citizen's card, then you are more than 60 years old. Okay? So, parang um, vice versa lang, pinagbaliktad yung dalawang sentence. So, we can say that this is a proposition. Okay, so this is a true proposition. Okay, so since kapag more than 60 na, di ba, pwede na ang makakuha ng senior citizen's card. Okay, so if you, you are entitled naman, okay, parang binagbaligtad lang, kung pwede ka nang kumuha ng senior citizen's card, okay, then masasabi natin na more than 60 years old ka na. Okay, so this is also known as a biconditional statement. Since we can rewrite it as you are more than 60 years old if and only if you are entitled to a senior citizen's card. Okay, so now we will be 